Good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Seth Bonoff here to check your forecast as the calendar has flipped on over into June. Believe it or not, we are entering the summer months now, and uh, things are going to start off here in the month of June the same way things ended in the month of May. We're going to have what theoretically should be a sunny sky, but there will be some wildfire smoke overhead once again that will uh, create a little bit of a haze across the area. There is potential for today to be worse than what it was yesterday. However, some spots it won't be uh, too bad. Might see some uh, kind of thin spots here and there. Just kind of depends where you're at. Eastern half of the area has a better chance at seeing some clearer skies compared to the western half of the area, simply due to a, a wind kind of blowing things around a little bit. Temperatures up there into the 80s this go around. Over at tonight's relatively cloud free skies, but that smoke will be around. Uh, normally that's kind of insignificant, but tonight we do have a chance at seeing the northern lights. There is an opportunity uh, with a G4 geomagnetic, geomagnetic storm happening. That is just fancy talk to uh, tell you that northern lights will be visible here across uh, central Illinois. It is a strong enough storm to where we will be able to have a view of it between about 8.30 p.m. and 1 a.m. I think is your absolute best chance. I do think it could be uh, visible, though, well deeper into the night. That smoke could impact your view of it to an unknown degree just because, well, we usually don't have northern lights around here. We usually don't have smoke around here, let alone both at the same time. So who knows what it's going to look like out there. But go outside, give it a shot. Hopefully that smoke doesn't interfere too much. However, it will be around over the next 24 hours, even on into Monday evening. But some reinforcements eventually on the way to clear out that smoke. We'll talk about that in just a moment. That will lead to a, a pretty hazy forecast again tomorrow, but also a very hot one as a southern wind brings in some warmer air. Upper 80s for high temperatures. Those reinforcements that I mentioned before will come in the form of rain chances to hopefully wash things away. Tuesday all the way through into the weekend, we have an opportunity to get some rain here in the area. Going to come from a pair of systems. First one's going to have a cold front tied to it, and that will bring a chance for some uh, possibly strong storms in the area as well. Therefore, I think the second system that will kind of uh, sweep up from behind will be the more preferred system because it'll just bring some widespread rain chances. Not quite the same uh, opportunity there for storms within that one. However, as that uh, first system does make its way through, we do see a chance for some severe weather in the area. Marginal risk up and down the I-55 region with a slight risk just off to our west. I think the biggest thing with these rain chances will be the potential rainfall totals. Now, don't necessarily pay attention to the location of these uh, totals, but just the sheer number uh, one to three inches. That sounds very good, especially for uh, parts of the area who have uh, not seen a whole lot in the way of rain here over the last several weeks. Here's a check of your seven day forecast. A little bit of everything from smoke to northern lights to storms, even just uh, some hot weather in general. There is uh, plenty here for us in the upcoming week. You can stay on top of the wild forecast at all times on the WCI the weather app. This has been your weather now updates. Enjoy your Sunday.